Hello everybody, my name is Fire Alarm Freak, and in this video we are going to be unboxing and setting up a Sage EAS Endec Model 1822. So this I've actually been saving up for for quite a while, um, and it is here finally, um, and it actually popped up, and I was like, I bet I don't have enough for that, because I was saving up originally for a TFT, but turns out that this was more in my budget, so we got this, and ultimately I think the Sage is in fact better, whoops, knocked the tripod over there, I think the Sage is ultimately better than the TFT for a couple reasons that I'll get into later, but now it's here, and there's a bunch of packing peanuts, so let's get right into this, so first, Let's just get all of this out of the way, and we can already see the main unit there, and I'm making a huge mess, but you know what? It's whatever. Now, this did not come with a power cord, so I do have it a, uh, I did buy a separate power supply that goes with it, but, um, yeah, and we can just use, lift the unit upright out of here. Let me just take a moment to appreciate the mess that I just made. Um, but now, let's get in to actually getting this unit out. All right, so the power supply is up and in. So we're gonna flip this around and we're gonna watch this thing power up and self-test, three, two, one. Press the button. I just realized I forgot to set up the power supply correctly, so. That goes for the bloopers. All right, now that I actually have the power supply correctly set, we're gonna try this again in three, two, one. Can you hear the printer there? Doesn't look like it actually has anything in it. But you saw the self-test and boot there. Um, it said time is bad, which I've heard is fairly common. Um, and I know there's a fix for it. I just have to find that. But um, one thing is I'm gonna make sure that, yes. So the jumper is connected for the speakers. That's one thing you wanna make sure is good or else the speaker will not work. But we're gonna send a weekly test, and so I believe you just press the week button. The default password is one, 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 one. Proceed. And I'm gonna turn that printer off soon, but I do wanna see where this thing was originally. System startup. Okay. Local alert. Broadcast station or cable system has issued a required weekly test for Custer, Fremont, Orlando, Los Animas, and Pueblo, beginning at 9 o'clock p.m. and ending at 10 p.m. KKPC. I just realized you guys couldn't see any of that. KKPC, so this, that is the radio station that this belonged to originally, and it would, its local area, it was a broadcast cable system, and its local area was Custer, Fremont, Fernando, Los Animas, and Pueblo counties, which uh, is not, which is actually in the Pueblo weather forecast office, and it isn't in Boulder, so I'm not too familiar with it, but that is neat. Done. No, don't clear that. Let's go to menu, and let's set this thing up. All right, so now I put it on the desk here, but um, let's take a look. Let's go menu. Let's just go through all of this. So alerts, 
Let's originate a different alert. Um, abort. Alerts, originate alert. Um, new. We're gonna say National Weather Service. And we're gonna say, um, let's say, let's just pick a random one. High wind watch, eh, high wind warning, sure. Attention duration, we're gonna make that one up to eight, actually nine, I'm gonna do nine, just cause, no, nah, eight. I've seen some confusion, apparently some forecast offices do nine seconds, or at least I've heard. Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna go with eight. Select audio. I don't think there is going to be any audio, but, you know, just to make sure that we're going to do stored audio, because this did originally belong to a radio station, so maybe, you know, their last alert was transmitted uh, recently, or their last alert audio. So let's do stored audio. Adding locations. Um, new. We're going to go down. Colorado, Colorado pick. We're gonna issue it for all of Colorado. Done. Um, done. It's gonna be in effect for, let's say six hours. Done. And uh, I'm gonna pick this up so you can see the lights. And proceed. So here's a little update. Um, I haven't actually fixed this. The time is still wrong. I just turned off the blinker for that. But I do have a monitor set up now. I just tore apart some headphones. Um, and I'm using that for the time being until I can actually get some proper monitor sources in. Um, but I have been able to plug this into my PC. So um, I have recorded this TikTok that was posted to Denver Alerts. Um, and now it's in the stored audio thing here. So we are going to originate a, uh, severe thunderstorm warning. Menu, alerts. Um, we're gonna originate the alert. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, we're gonna do new National Weather Service. We're gonna go down to... Severe thunderstorm warning. We're gonna do an eight second attention tone. Um, it's gonna be the stored audio. And then for the locations, there's all those counties up there. I'm just gonna do, uh, we'll throw Adams and Arapaho in there. Cause I don't bother putting all those other counties in there. Uh, Arapaho pick. Done, done, all right, it's gonna be 45 minutes. And here we go, so you're gonna have a NWS voice with it. Proceed.
Okay, sorry if that was a little quiet. It's just the way that was recorded. Going through the monitor right now. Boy, that sounds quiet. I can't even hear it. Okay, then. Let's go pending. Of course, it's super loud. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, subscribe, rate, do all that jazz, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!